guys, so today I'm going to be doing the guilty or innocent tag. I don't think I was tagged by anybody. I think Amber's family of four tagged me in the mummy scenario tag, which I'm hopefully going to do after this video. But I don't think anybody tagged me in that video, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Kayla and Baby, who just did the boss walk with me. This lipstick that I'm wearing, I freaking love, and I'm not really too big into lip color, but this one is like almost natural that I just am obsessed with it, so thank you. there's 29 questions if, if you're guilty or not of doing these things. Saying you're letting the dishes soak when in reality you don't want to do the dishes. I don't soak the dishes so I'm not guilty of that but after I've done so many dishes I am guilty for just like leaving the dishes in the sink and then just being like oh I'm gonna come back to them a couple seconds and just not coming back to them. Restarting the dryer to avoid doing laundry. I'm not guilty of that either, I just don't fold the laundry if I don't want to fold the laundry. <laughs> Hide when you're eating something so you don't have to share with the kids. I'm not really guilty of that either. I don't really have to hide from Hannah. And then Haley, I usually always plan to, she's going to eat when I'm never at meeting. Obey the five second rule. Uh, it depends. <laughs> it depends if we're like out in public in that kind of five second rule or if we're like at home in the five second rule. Um, out in public and when I don't know like where what what the floors are like and stuff like that obviously not at home not so worried about it say it's an hour later so you can put the kids to bed I guess I'm guilty because for some reason the girls think nine o'clock is bedtime I think grandma said it's nine o'clock so they have to go to bed and so now Haley always is like it's bedtime is it nine o'clock so now I always just say it's nine o'clock even though they usually go to bed at 7 30 or 8 <laughs> rewashing the laundry because you forgot to switch it over to the dryer yeah, I'm definitely guilty. <laughs> yeah, there's some days where, you know, it's been like a day and you have to rewash it because you don't want it to have that gross smell. Definitely have done that a few times. Wiping the dirty spots off the floor with a rag and convincing yourself that you mopped. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of that one too. Ask the hubby to pick up takeout or call for takeout because you forgot to thaw something out. I'm kind of guilty and I'm kind of not because we just like to eat out. It's not like I'm like, oh, I didn't think of what we're making for dinner. So I guess I'm guilty. Let the kids run around in their diapers slash undies because they're, all their clothes are in the laundry. I'm guilty for, but not because all their clothes are in the laundry, just because changing diapers, I don't know, I just feel like it's easier and more convenient when they're not wearing pants. So I'm like, mm, yeah, I put your pants back on like five times already today. You can just have them off. And then Haley usually has pants on, but then if she decides for some reason she doesn't want to wear pants, which never happens, then I'm just like, whatever, we're just at home. Wash the dishes by hand because you're too lazy to unload the dishwasher. Yeah, I wish I had a dishwasher. Clean more in 10 minutes before guests arrive than you have all week. Yeah, I'm guilty for that. Dropping something on the floor and instead of cleaning it up, you call the dog. I don't have a dog. <laughs> Forget to remove makeup before you go to bed. Guilty. I usually never remember to wash my face before bedtime. <laughs> Place a blanket over a wet spot so you don't have to change the sheets in the middle of the night. I am guilty for that. And actually, Hannah has like an absorbent pad on her bed. It's not like, it's not one that goes under her mattress. It's like one that goes over top of the sheets because if she pukes or anything, then you just take off that and then you put like a new one on. So really, really guilty for that. But we are taking off the wet spot, but Haley would never let me do that. But if Haley, Haley once has um, puked in all of her sheets, so I couldn't change her bed anymore, then she came to my bed, puked, and I only have two spare sheets. And then, so after that, I was like, well, we're just gonna have to cover the wet spot. <laughs> Wear jeans multiple days in a row if they look clean. Yeah, I'm guilty. As long as they still fit good jeans, I don't see the problem in it unless, if, like, you know, they're dirty. But if they look clean, then they're obviously good. Eat scraps off your kid's plate because you don't have time to make your own meal. I'm going to say I'm not guilty for that because usually if I make them something, then I'll just eat what they're having. Eating kids, Halloween stash, or Easter candy. Usually I'm guilty, but this year I'm dieting and I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat any of them. I'm not going to eat one. No. No, no Halloween candy for me. Your child's allergic to something so you don't have to share. No, not guilty. Put a wrinkled shirt back in with the dirty clothes, even if it's clean, just so you don't have to iron. 
I don't iron anything, but I will put it back in the dryer if it's clean to get all of the wrinkles out. Like, there's that one kind of fabric. I have a dress like it. And no matter what, it's like you wear it, like, for two seconds and it's got a wrinkle in it. So I do put it in the dryer, so I guess that would say I am guilty. Procrastinate getting into the shower and then not want to get out. Definitely guilty. The shower always feels so nice when you're in it. Rehearse arguments in your head just in case. So, so guilty for this. So guilty. Ignore texts all day and then say, oh my god, my reply never went through. I'm not guilty for this. I've never, ever pretend like my reply never went through. I usually respond or I just don't respond. Snoop in other people's bathroom cabinets. No, not usually. Unless if, like, for some reason I really want to borrow a Q-tip. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but sometimes my ears just feel, like, extra greasy. Maybe it's because I wear um, earplugs every night, so sometimes I'll, like, try to find a Q-tip, which is kind of gross because I'm using a Q-tip so they're asking, but I only do that if it's, like, my best friend's house or something. It's not like I'm just, like, in someone's house that I just met, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to find their Q-tips. Turn the radio down in the car when you're lost or looking for a house. I'm guilty for and actually loud music when there's other people in the car uh, it makes me like I don't know it makes me extra nervous like it not like claustrophobic but I definitely feel like I guess I don't know maybe it's like anxiety or something I don't know I just feel like I can't focus as much when there's loud music on so I like to turn it down but if I'm driving in the car by myself I don't mind loud music but if there's somebody else in the car I'm like mm, it has to be turned down these perfume flowers that come in magazines I, no, I don't get magazines, and I usually don't even like the smell of the kind that come in the magazines. About your age, I've never lied about my age. I wish I could say I was older, and I'm sure when I'm older I wish I could say I was younger, but I've never lied about my age. Lied about your child's age to get a better deal, uh, the three, so I guess I could have lied about a flight. Flights are cut off at one, but I wasn't flying. And I feel like there's something that cuts off at two, but no, I never have. Doesn't mean I wouldn't. I'm not saying I wouldn't, I just never have. Given someone the wrong number on purpose, I've tried to, but unless I'm talking on the phone, like those church people, like Mormons or somebody, I can't remember, somebody knocked on our door and it was like just after Christmas when we first moved into this place, um, well the other place, uh, and we were having like our Christmas because Hannah was in the hospital and they knocked on the door and they're like, can we get your number and we'll call you and I was going to lie and give him a fake number and I was going to tell them my mom's number but instead because I was on the spot I'm a terrible liar I just gave them my number and then they ended up texting me at like 9 30 at night <sighs> in the shower as an adult no <laughs> I can't say I've done that so anyways that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in the next video bye